This is 5-Minute Feng Shui Podcast 41, The Color Green, Feng Shui's Color of Health, Wealth, and Growth. Welcome to the 5-Minute Feng Shui Podcast, where each week I talk about how to move energy and make money. You'll learn how to create a prosperous home and an abundant life using classical Chinese Feng Shui. I'm your host, Katie Weber, publisher of the Red Lotus Letter, Feng Shui Easing for Wealth. Each week, I'll cover feng shui topics that can help you improve your life, share inspiring stories, and always end with three easy to implement feng shui tips that you can put to work right away, and usually in about five minutes. Now let's get started on the five minutes that could change your life. Hi, we're talking about the feng shui of the color green, and it's one of my favorite colors. Last week on episode 40 of 5 Minute Feng Shui, we talked about the feng shui of letting go, especially when you're stuck like in a negative spiral. Well, this is the antithesis. This is the opposite of that, and it's going to be, we're going to be talking today about how to grow and get growing again. Uh, especially if you've been in that negative spiral, and I don't know if you're if you're following these podcasts in order or not, but if you are, uh, I purposely chose the color green to follow the the letting go and how to get out of a negative spiral because this is one of the ways that you do get out of a negative spiral, and it's by growing. And what color do we think of for growing things? Well, green is always that color. So I want to talk to you today about the color green and what it can do for you in your life, what it means in feng shui, and how you can benefit by adding the color green in your life. Now in feng shui, every aspiration, whether that's career or wealth or love, is tied to a direction, such as north or south or southwest, and each direction is tied to a color, a number, and an element. So each direction has has its own specific color. And the color green is related to the east. So if we think about the rising sun every day, the sun rises each day, and plants love that sunlight, they grow because of that sunlight. It's naturally uh, the, the color that's associated with the east and southeast because that's the, that's the direction of growth. As a color, the color green relates to expansion, hope, new beginnings, and the southeast direction, which is actually also related to the wealth direction. And this is wealth being as the money that you have set aside in assets, like stocks or investments or savings accounts. It's not the money that comes in, you know, uh, once a month or, or twice or every week or however it is that you get paid. That's, that's called income, which is different than wealth. Wealth is what you amass. And the southeast and that that sector of growth and green color relates to wealth because well if you think about it when you think about saving money what do you want it to do well you want it to grow right <laughs> so when we think about the the color green we think about the the sector of wealth we also think about the direction that's associated with it which is small wood or the southeast and so the southeast is the is the beginnings of wealth growth. Uh, green is also the color that supports healing and regeneration. I mean, just think about when when plants or trees sprout their new leaves uh, after the winter. Those those little green leaves that come out are are a, a bright green, right? So to be sure, green is definitely the color of money, especially in the U.S. And when we talk about getting more green, it's definitely associated with making more money. Green is sometimes associated with greed, with envy or jealousy, uh, sometimes anger. But really, when we think about green, most of us have very favorable associations with that color because it's associated with those positive attributes of health and renewal and regeneration and in feng shui with wealth. So let's talk about using and employing the color green in your life to bring about those positive attributes like health and renewal and regeneration, and of course, bringing in more money as well. But it's also really important, as I mentioned earlier, about uh, episode number 40 and how to get out of a negative spiral. 
I want you to be thinking that if you're if you have been having some difficulties in your life or you feel like you've just you've been backsliding a little bit employing the color green is a good way to kind of jump start and get growing again so to speak <laughs> and pardon my uh, pun on those words but it was completely intended and so we, that's what we want to do is once you get out of that negative spiral one of the ways you do get out of a negative spiral is by growing and by going in another direction but particularly in and going in a direction a new direction or or this is something that we would normally associate with with growing and personal self-growth and in fact if you follow um, the feng shui teachings of personal feng shui uh, you'll want to definitely check your kwa number that's k-u-a kwa number and find out which direction represents your personal growth direction because we definitely would want to activate that direction uh, to help you get growing and to as and especially if you've had some negative situations that you feel like you've been kind of trapped in, we really want to foster your personal growth direction and, and foster personal growth in your life. So let's talk about how we can, can do that with the color green. One of the ways you can do that is with green light. Actually, green light is one of the colors that is represented uh, or representative of wealth and symbolizes continuous growth. Using a green light in the southeast corner of your home will help you build more money and will help you start growing again and will help you start moving again. One of the reasons why is because the hips are associated with the southeast direction and the hips are the, the, the part of the body, the joint of the body that really helps us move, to walk, to stand upright and to move forward in life. So you're not only enhancing the wealth direction, you're also enhancing the part of your body that is associated with big movement like running and walking and, and uh, standing upright. So adding some green light can also help with healing as well. So think about getting a green bulb. You can find colored bulbs online or at your local home center and, and add it to the southeast corner of your home or living room and shine that light on the corner at least three hours a day. If you feel like you've been really stuck, if you feel like you need some healing in your life, if you feel like you'd like to build up assets. If your savings account was drained dry, this is a really great way to add some growing energy for your, your money and savings. Now, if you're tired or uh, low on energy, green comes to, the, comes to the rescue again. A lot of our energy comes from our liver. It's our largest internal organ and wearing green will help you give you more energy and promote healing, especially if you don't feel well. Better still, there's uh, there's a symbol, an animal that's associated with uh, with green, vibrant energy, and that is a dragon. Uh, wooden colored dragons or green dragons are a terrific feng shui addition to the southeast corner of your living room uh, or or your home. I really like to activate the living room because sometimes sometimes we have a bathroom in the southeast corner of the house, or we'll have a a, a laundry room, and you don't want to be activating a bathroom or a living room or a um, uh, laundry room, do you? You want <laughs> you don't want to be putting a dragon out in your garage. So one of the ways that you can activate your whole house is by just activating the living room. So add that green dragon uh, to bring some more energy to the southeast corner of your living room and to your life and help give you more energy and it'll boost both health and your wealth. I really like to place them and you're going to have to use a compass, place them between 112 to 127 degrees and this will give you the best results. Better still, Put that green dragon in that corner and shine a green light on him. And you would be amazed at what that can do for building up savings. Uh, now let's talk about green and how it feeds fire. Green can bring recognition. That's because fire is the element of fame and recognition. When we think about green, what is green? It's associated with the wood element. And wood feeds fire. Because it's a bright, vibrant green, can fire up your recognition quotient. So if you feel like you've been kind of lost in the shuffle at work and nobody's really paying attention to you or you're getting recognition for the job that you're doing, the color green is a great way to 
bring some recognition to your efforts at work or your efforts in life in general, as a matter of fact. And, and the way you can do that is by adding that growth energy that feeds that, that recognition. Because when you start to grow in your job, you may feel like your, your job is stagnant by adding some, some green color into your, into your life you'll be adding some opportunity for more recognition. And a great way to do that is by simply spending time outdoors. That can be working in your garden, that can be planting plants, even decorating with plants in your home, or taking uh, some time to just go walk and be around trees. Trees have really terrific energy for growth, for healing, and for helping you gain recognition. And in fact, it really, the if you think about big fires, what do we think of as big tree logs, right? Big tree logs would create a big fire. So spending time out in amongst trees is a terrific way to help you gain more recognition. I also think it's also really nice just to be out among the trees. <laughs> you breathe in all that oxygen and you just feel better when you're outdoors, I find. And, and spending time in the landscape is another way of giving you, feeding you, your, you with energy that will help you grow and that will help you heal if you've had problems in your life that you need to move past. Now, green is terrific for energy. This is one of the best ways to improve on growth or yang energy. If you want to boost your, your energy around your home and in your life, Add plenty of lush green plants to help build up your growth potential and to give your home lots of energy, yang energy that helps propel you forward. Even better is the garden dragon. You can, you, if, you, if you are inclined and you're really handy in the garden, you can create a shape in trees and shrubs that mimics the, the, the rise and fall of the humps of a dragon's back. I actually had done that in, in a home I owned. It was a beautiful landscape. And if you think about the homes that are in your area or where, where you've seen, that you've driven through, and the homes that have the greatest curb appeal, 99% of the time, it's that they have great landscaping. It's that beautiful, it's like a beautiful frame around a portrait. It makes the portrait look even better better or the, a, a, a painting. If you've got a beautiful frame around a painting, it says, hey, look at this. I mean, the painting is still going to be beautiful, but when you put a frame around it, suddenly it really calls attention to it. And that's, that's how green can help you in your life. It can call attention to you, but it also does that for your home. So spend time adding to your landscape, building it up and adding curb appeal. This will this will boost the yang energy in your house and bring beautiful, beautiful energy from your yard because all energy begins outside and goes in. Now let's talk about healing. Uh, a lot of people have health issues and uh, or, or, or maybe emotional difficulties. And if you need a boost in, in of healing energy, a wonderful way to do that is to hang a green crystal in the east corner of your home. So when the sun rises in the morning, it will hit that green crystal and spray green colors in your home. It's a really nice way if you've gone through, um, like you've lost a loved one, you've gone through a divorce, you've come through past uh, some difficult difficult times in your life, maybe you've had a, a serious illness, green light is a wonderful way to help you heal and to, and to bring some of that healing energy into your home. So think about adding one of those green crystals. You can get them online very easily, just a little faceted green crystal and hang it in the east corner or the southeast corner, either one of, of your window, uh, in a window in your home. Um, now let's talk about also, it's really important that you pick a really nice clear shade of green. Now you can also wear green clothing. Green clothing is another way to help kind of raise your personal health chi energy and to bring you some some healing, especially like I was saying, if you've had some difficult circumstances, whether it's loved ones or, or um, illness, that kind of thing. Uh, so spending that time uh, wearing green will help lift your personal energy and help you feel better and help you start to, to feel like you're, you're growing again and you're not in that sort of stuck cycle. And to get unstuck, 
A really terrific way to get growing again is by putting a nice big tree or plant that is situated diagonal to your door. So if you walk in your front door, you want to, it would be the, the corner where your eye naturally falls. This is actually called the lucky corner in your home. And this corner is a great place to put a plant because it represents vibrant, healthy, growing energy. This is so good for you, particularly if you feel like you've just you're not gotten anywhere you want to go. You've been stuck or you've been backsliding or life is at a standstill. This is a good way to remind your eye visually because what we see is what we get. And if we see tall, vibrant, green growth, then we will get that in our life. And many times in our homes, we don't have uh, nice, tall, big plants. We might have a little ivy here or there, that kind of thing. And so by adding this green plant, this really nice, tall, and make it a big plant. I really like, I really, really like having a trio of plants in the lucky corner. So this could be the lucky corner of your living room. It could be the lucky corner uh, when you walk into your house. It could be the lucky corner in your, in your office. This is another great place to have a plant symbol there. And I love to see the big, tall, uh, tall, like ficus type tree. I think they're beautiful. And, and in that corner, I'd love to see you do like a little grouping of three plants because three, as I was talking about earlier, about, you know, each direction, each color is associated with a, with a direction, with a number, with an element and so on. That number that the green is associated with is either three or four, but I like three because three is the ultimate number in ultimate growth in, in feng shui. So if you could take that lucky corner and put like a really pretty tall ficus tree or an, an, an and another uh, like a medium size and then a small plant then you have this beautiful trio of growing energy in your lucky corner and remember that's the that's the corner that's opposite from the door that you enter the room from now it's terrific to have that in your living room in your dining room in your office just don't put it in your bedroom. Plants should not be in the bedroom and because we don't really want to have that kind of energy in the bedroom. We don't want this big, vigorous, growing energy in the bedroom. We want to have a relaxing and uh, and quiet type of yin energy in our bedroom so that we can sleep and, and uh, recharge our batteries, not this big growing energy. <laughs> Anyhow, so place a trio of plants in, this, in, the, in the lucky corner if you can do that. If not, you can also do this in the southeast corner of your living room as well. This is another great place to, to add this. Now, don't worry if you're not a green thumb or your your lighting doesn't support having nice big uh, growing plants. Don't worry about it. If you want to use silk plants, that's perfectly fine. You're completely off the hook. Just keep them nice and dust free and, and clean and glossy looking. As long as when you look at it, you see plant then that's what matters. You go, oh, you know, that's a, that's a beautiful plant and you see plant growth. That's perfectly fine. And feel free to use, like I said, silk, silk plants. Those are absolutely acceptable in feng shui. Let's talk about using green in your quad number. Now, I think I had talked a little bit earlier about the personal growth direction and stimulating the personal growth direction. And that is uh, a really terrific way to help you get growing in your life. Uh, you can find out what your personal growth direction is by visiting my website, redlotusletter.com and clicking on tools or free free resources and then click on the qua calculator and it'll tell you the direction. Now if you have a quad number that's a three, a four, nine, or a one, green is a great color for you. Uh, number one quads should wear green colors and shine a green light in the southeast to promote their their success like and, and wealth making. Number three quads should wear green or shine a green light on the southeast and it will give them romance luck. And a four qua should wear green and shine a green light in the southeast to promote their personal growth. Now, if you're a number nine qua, wearing green clothing or shining a green light in the southeast will promote your health and well-being. Now, not to despair. If you are a west person, you can still wear green I and you can still shine that green light in the southeast direction. It's just not going to have a, a double benefit like if you are a, a quad number that's three, four, nine, or one. So, but 
don't feel like if you're a quad number two or five or six or seven or eight that you can't do that. You absolutely can. Those green lights are terrific in the, in the southeast because everybody needs to activate the southeast wealth direction. And that brings us to that personal personal qua information. We always want to activate all directions because we and and not rely just on on our personal qua directions, but everybody needs we need we need all eight sectors pulling for us and those would be the sectors of like health and wealth and relationships and so forth so we need all eight going for us all right well let's talk about the three tips for today and the color green number one add green to grow wear green colors green gems uh it in any any time you can add green to your wardrobe, this is a great way to help you, especially if you are trying to heal, if you've got an illness going on or difficulties in your life, or you feel like you've just been stuck and stagnant, wearing green will help you get growing again and will invigorate you just like the springtime color that it is. Number two, take a tree bath. When you need recognition and you feel like you really need to be seen in a bigger way and help your fame and recognition energy a tree bath is a great way to do it spend some time walking in a park with lots of trees around you spending 30 minutes sitting among trees having a picnic around under a tree all gives you that beautiful tree chi for growth and it also helps you get recognized for your efforts, especially if you're in business for yourself or you're in a career or if you're looking for a better social life as well. Number three, green light for your life. Give your life the green light. Add a green light in the southeast corner of your living room with a green bulb that you can buy online or at your home center. Adding this will help with healing, it will help with money, and it will help with growth. Thanks for being with me today on 5-Minute Feng Shui. I hope you've enjoyed this episode about the color green and how it can get you growing and unstuck. Have a great day. Thanks for listening today to 5-Minute Feng Shui. Be sure to join me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Feng Shui Katie. And if you're really ready to move ahead quickly, head over to redlotusletter.com and sign up for my free four-week e-course, 28 Days to Prosperity. You'll get daily lessons and tips on how to get unstuck and create financial flow in your life. Make it a fantastic day.